So in this tutorial, we will be talking about creating this type of reflections as you can see on this chess piece. And you can later apply this kind of map to any of your products, maybe in your shop or maybe in a presentation. And this type of map is done in a matter of a minute. So here we are in Unity. We've got the standard setup with a regular skybox and I'm applying a Studio HDRI map to the environment. Updating the reflection probe for just to see the effect. And uh, looking at the object, right? Uh, you can see that if you turn off the directional light, you can still have uh, interesting lighting and sometimes it's even a desirable effect. Here I'm adjusting the exposure so you can have uh, brighter reflections and turning off the background to black so just to show off the product in the best possible light. So this map has been pre-rendered in 3ds Max. The next thing I'll show you how to do a simpler version in Photoshop. Switching to Photoshop, uh, we are using a 1024 by 512 map. Uh, this resolution is more than enough for our purpose. And let's create um, a few rectangulars. Black ones to block out the floor and ceiling. And a few dividers to create these reflectors, three reflectors on each side. So saving it as a TIFF, um, you can use an HDR, it can uh, have more color information, but again, for our purpose, we can even use a JPEG. Going back to Unity and applying the map to the environment. That's Studio Box 001. Okay, we need to update the reflection map. Uh, reflection probe. So I'm just showing the surroundings. Three rectangles around. Updating. And now I have a pretty cool reflections on the chest piece. A bit, a bit too bright, but you know you can adjust it easily. Here I will draw a white stripe and you will see that it creates a circle in this map. To create a rectangle is really hard and it's much easier to render it in the 3D application. So I'm, here I'm trying to show in red the zone of where you shouldn't really edit anything because it will cause a lot of stretching because the environment map is applied to a sphere obviously and anything that is too close to the tip or bottom of the sphere will start stretching. So yeah, let's try and put something there inside like this uh, rectangular uh, white one and see how it looks like inside of Unity. So here you can see at the top it's been stretched out and if the shape is more complicated than a rectangular you'll get some really weird shapes. So I want to add some color um, and play around with different type of reflections. 
So here, let's see what, what uh, a red rectangular will do. So yeah, updating the re reflection probe again. Yeah, and uh, you, you can have this pretty cool color spill on your object. So just cut straight on the game screen. And yeah, it's a really interesting effect. And the next thing we'll do is we'll just apply a few of the different colored boxes and see how it will look like. Okay, let's add some stuff. I I really don't like down raise the whole image because uh, it doesn't really matter if even if it's five twelve by two fifty six, it's still getting a pretty good reflection, so you can go pretty low res. Unless you've got a really type a chrome type of material, then you'll have then that low res reflections can be quite visible but with the more smooth surface like this more rough surfaces like this um, uh, you can go pretty low res with your reflection map and here I'm going to line uh, to show different color spaces so right now it's linear and linear color space gives you actually a better reflection than gamma uh, brighter ones though I would prefer gamma for more realistic rendering in usual 3D application. So I'm just switching to gamma and updating the reflection probe. Yep, so it's not as bright. And might be something you would be aiming at, might be not. So it's worth trying to check both uh, linear and uh, gamma color spaces, color space. I am adding just uh, directional light, so we get an interesting specular with that, if you want to use it. And obviously you get proper shadows. Um, I think the right now shadow casting is turned off, but different scenario. Okay, going back to Photoshop and adding a bunch of colored boxes. Oh, and you can try an experiment like doing a huge color rectangulars and spills and gradients and looking at how they affect your, you know, your uh, image, your, I mean, your scene, your game. Okay, okay, we need to update the reflection probe. We have to do it every time, even though it says it should be updated every frame. So yeah, you get a whole bunch of reflections on your um, model. Kind of too much for my taste. Uh, I would probably just limit myself to a few. Just maybe white and red or blue and red. But you know, you can try this and that and see what's looking better for you. And here I'm trying, I'm uh, showing how I use the same technique to create this type of uh, rendering for a Go board set. So you can see it here. So you get a really nice professional looking photo setup. I've been using a Studio HDR map from Studio HDR pack, but it's you can, if you spend more time on Photoshop, you can create a similar result. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. And check all the relevant uh, links in the description.